Hey there, hi there, Scorpios. Welcome to your dream interpretation for the month of August. Um, so, um, up first, I have for you, like, this overall, like, theme, um, energy, and this is desire, okay? Dreaming of desire, okay? So, okay, so, um, that being said, I'm seeing, um, Seven of Pentacles. So you're probably um, dreaming about um, a relationship, maybe like a potential relationship. Um, and also I'm seeing which justice is coming. Justice is coming. Okay, so you could even be having a dream about uh, being a witch or a witch, um, but there's definitely desire and the number eight, and then pentacles, the number seven, and then which justice is coming, the number 27, okay? Um, which is interesting because the number two and seven was in the last reading I did. So whatever this, like, desire, I think you have, like, a desire for justice, like, either in your love life, in your, um, I think it stems primarily from your love life, like you were like done dirty or something like that. And now you're, um, trying to create a reality of your dream that makes it so like your love life is like you're getting what you deserve in your love life. Okay. Um, um, so taking a look here around for my booklet. So seven of pentacles with desire, it's your desiring like this um, justice and it comes, it's definitely stemming from your love life and um, it's definitely coming from this place of wanting to see like, like a meeting, like the sword of power. To obtain love, you must give something in exchange and pay the price for the errors of the past. And she's reaching into the um into her closet for her sword. So you need to like take charge. There's two swords in, in there too. Or maybe one 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 of them is definitely a sword. The other one's a baseball bat. There's a baseball bat and a sword. Um so you're reaching into your closet for your sword of justice. It's almost like you were like hiding a part of yourself before. Like you were like unwilling to like uh, take off like your mask or like put on your witch hat or, you know, like tap into your witchiness um, and uh, fight for what you want. Okay. Um, and this, the, what you want is desire. What you want is to be desired. That's what you dream of. Um, and it seems like it's stemming from like your romance, uh, like your romantic love life. Okay. So, um, and I just posted love readings for, uh, for you Scorpio. So if you want more in depth on that, watch that video. Definitely. But as far as manifesting your dreams into reality, you have to like fight for what you want. Um, and the seven of pentacles, um, that's going to remind you of what you want. Um, so let's see here. So yeah, tiredness, the magic of the seven knots. A love cannot remain pure and precious over time unless you learn how to give energy to your partner. So you have to give precious pure energy to your partner every single time um in order for the love to grow in order for um it to remain precious and pure you must keep giving the precious and pure energy to your partner okay so that's kind of that's basically like what you're working towards is like giving the precious pure energy to the partner you want right and hoping that they give it back to you and you receive that back because then that builds love when they're giving you pure precious energy and you're giving them pure precious energy that's going to manifest into love and that is justice that is what is coming for you that is what you want okay um now i see here this king of cups okay 
So this King of Cups. Um. Okay. We also have spiritual awakening and realization. Okay. Manifesting it, spiritually awakening to it. It's almost like your idea version of like what love looks like or what love is supposed to look like um, was not in line with like your more like spiritual side. And I feel like the King of Cups is somehow playing a part in your spiritual awakening and in your realization. Okay. So, um, and we have the witches tarot. So witches just coming. Okay. So with that being said, we're going to look here at the king of cups and we're going to find out exactly, um, what it is that the king of cups wants you to know. We have the King of Cups, and the meaning here is a mature, wise man who is well-versed in the craft. This card represents an individual who is artistic, intuitive, creative, and passionate. Physically, he has dark blonde to light brown hair with a touch of gray and blue or green eyes. He is a good friend. Okay. Um, so... He is a good friend, a loving and attentive husband, and a devoted father. The King of Cups gives good, solid advice when asked. This card can represent a quiet man who keeps his emotions to himself, but can be moody. He is, however, deeply emotional, and he has a tough outer shell to disguise a very soft and loving interior. He often sees what most people would prefer to keep hidden. This card represents an individual who is an excellent mediator, physically talented, and strong and fair. The lesson from the King of Cups is that wisdom comes from looking within. Temper your counsel of others with compassion and affection. A water sign man, a married man, mature man, well-versed in the craft, a loving husband and father, a good friend, a wise counselor, a creative personality, the gifts of intuition, wisdom that comes from experience, um, associated with water and air. Water is a suit of cups, related natural element, while all four of the kings are associated with the wise and thoughtful element of air. Um, and the astrological association, oh, oh, hold on a second. Okay, the astrological association is actually Scorpio, is your sign. So, uh, difficulty expressing emotions, dishonesty, a domineering lover, a person taking out their advantage or over, over another who's less experienced. Like, that is, like, not what you want, obviously. Um, you don't want someone difficult at expressing your emotions. I feel like that's who you had before. That's, like, your typical, like, person you went with. But now your dreams are showing you a much more clearer vision and um, version of what you want. Um, so that's your spiritual awakening. That's your realization here is that if you want to – manifest and dream into reality um and visualize that and make that real and come true then you have to um you know really think about the person or you know that you want to um like manifest like you don't want to manifest someone who's difficult and domineering and like emotionally unstable you want to manifest someone in your love life that is stable and wise and intuitive and get you on a spiritual plane or level right that's like what your dreams are like showing you really it's like this is what you had before someone who is unemotionally stable like emotionally unavailable right or someone who was just so domineering and controlling right but now you're like wait a second like i don't want that anymore now my dreams are showing me that like if I tap into my more spiritual side, I'll maybe attract the, the person of my dreams, right? Okay. So Scorpio, um, let's see what else here. Page of Swords. Okay. Page of Swords here. So um, yeah, Page of Swords. Let's see what the Page of Swords card says here. 
And my daughter here is assisting. She found some extra cards for you. So, okay, Page of Swords. Let's see. Um, we have Page of Swords. Okay. All right, so the Page of Swords, this is someone who uh, is vigilant, cautious, standing on guard for trouble or conflict, putting an end to petty conflicts with a well-chosen, with well with a few well-chosen words, an intense and intelligent young man, um, air and earth, air is the suit of swords, related natural element. Okay, so, um, yeah, air is the suit of swords, related natural element, while well, all four of the pages are associated with the practical element of earth. Tension, rash actions, using physical force when it is unnecessary. Yeah, so you're breaking free from what is unnecessary. You're breaking free from like tension and all that stuff. And the page of swords is reminding you of that. It's like clarifying to you, like, you're not looking for tension. You're not looking for someone who's emotionally unavailable. Like you're not dreaming of that. That is not what you want in your life. Okay. So, you know, being vigilant and cautious, um, is really interesting. And also like, putting an end to petty conflicts with a few well-chosen words. Like, you know, you could get into like a million different petty arguments, but what's the point in that, right? When you can just separate yourself from that and um, reach toward the goal that you want. And that's how you're going to make your dreams uh, a reality, really, honestly. Um, um, also the moon card. Okay, we have the moon card here. Um and six of wands okay okay so um the moon and six of wands okay so the moon obviously you know has a lot to do with um feelings um and intuitiveness, trusting like your gut feeling, fancy, the spell of love, a slow but effective magic action based on the sound and evocation of happy images. It defeats deception and illusions, restoring serenity at home and increasing functionality. So in other words, like your dreams are showing you um, like the slow and effective magic of believing in your dreams coming true. Um, so, um, and you have, you, you're dreaming of happy images. Like I'm seeing family, fertility, parenthood, pregnancy. So you could be wanting to start a family of your own. You could be wanting to have children and, um, become a parent for the first time. So, um, the moon is like a very feminine energy. So, you know, tapping into that spiritually can like really help you to um, manifest that dream into a reality. Okay. And the six of wands shows signs of victory there and celebration. Okay. So, um, let's see, six of wands. Um, yeah, the magic of the hair and the dove, okay? Growing closer, touching, growing apart, diluting, confirming. Every game of pleasure must end and doubts must be dispelled. So you're, you want to be a parent or you want to like um, be in a, a family dynamic with someone who's emotionally stable, with someone who is intuitive, right? Who someone can see past illusion and through illusions and not, um, uh, be deceptive, right? And not like, it's almost like this person, uh, that you are dreaming of is someone you want to start a family with. Like, maybe you just don't, like, that's where the justice I feel like is coming from is like where once you tap into like who you really truly are, then you're going to start to see the family. It's okay, sweetie. Then you're going to want to see the family, um, like that you want, right? The, the sense of, um, being able to have the family that you desire, right? 
Um, so it's a very like spiritually awakening process for you because you want to feel part of a family that understands who you are, the essence of who you are. Um, you might also want to have children someday and get married someday and be a parent with someone else someday. So that's all showing that that's what you're dreaming of. Like that's what you want. Um, you know, these dreams of like, you know, <laughs> um, finding the love of your life and having a family with them. Um, and the moon is a very powerful tool that like, it's the spell of love. Like when you make that wish to the moon of finding your person, of finding love, it transforms you. Like it manifests. Okay. Six of wands, you know, that's, the magic of the hair and the dove, you know, the hair kind of, to me symbolizes like, um, uh, you know, that like very fastly growing and manifesting. So, um, you know, um, but also it can mean it's like, it's almost like growing closer to your person. Um, and also your, um, yeah, it's, it's kind of something, it's kind of similar to like, um, the dove was just like a peaceful symbol, but the hair is like a fast piece, like a fast pace, like this piece and this meeting. Oh. Um, alrighty. So, you know, with this victory, with success here, with celebration here, that's showing me like, that's what once you remove the illusion that you can't have success, that you can't have a family, once you remove that illusion from your life, then you're going to start to see victory. Then you're going to start to see celebration and happiness. Um, so six of wands. All right. So. So this is a victory card of achievement, recognition for a job, well done, compliments and success, accomplishment after hard work, delay in a project, delay in your success, not being recognized for your hard work or cross condition. So your hard work is to like, the hard work that you want to put into your life is manifesting that beautiful love in your life that is going to support you wanting to have a family and wants to support you, um, you know, being stable and secure and full of wisdom and that's what you're celebrating right now that is what your um victory is here is like once you have achieved that dream and that it's turned into reality and even the steps that you're taking to make that a reality um are all coming together in like victorious harmonious bliss um and then we have the high priestess card okay all right, so this is all about trusting your intuition. And intuition, trusting your intuition does remove the illusion, right, of not trusting your intuition, okay? Um, and this is the high priestess waiting, the magic formulary, like the magic formula that makes your family successful, that makes it the, your dreams come true. And that is everything is already written in the book of destiny. You're destined to have this beautiful family. You're destined to have this spiritual awakening and find harmony and balance in your life. Um, and the magic uh, procedure requires knowledge and patience while waiting for a change, uh, change within you. Okay? So this change is coming from you. Like once you step into that role of justice, of picking up your sword, of your witchy powers, right? Your intuition, your high priestess energy you're going to manifest your dreams. Your dreams are going to come true, okay? And you just have to like take the steps to make that reality, and you are doing that. You are manifesting that every single day. All right, so um, see real quick, the high priestess, um, keywords from the witch tarot. And I'm just gonna look at that right now. Um, 
So this is um, the maiden aspect of the goddess, neutrality, initiation, wisdom, inner knowledge, intuition, lunar energy, and magic, waxing moon, magic, the feminine mysteries of the craft. Okay? And that's what you have here. You have the high priestess and the moon working together here with their magic. All right. Love and light always. Thanks for watching. Bye.